Hello, good morning. It's uh, it's Friday the 10th. I've got a fly in my eye. Uh, I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So, old Johnson's got a pretty tough time ahead, hasn't he? Not only does he need to repair the damage from Brexit and the pandemic, he also needs to repair his personal reputation. Closer to home, he's got 148 members of his own party to focus on, those who voted against his leadership in the recent vote of no confidence. And further afield, there are those from the wider electorate that are disillusioned with his leadership. And remember, there is every chance that senior colleagues in the Tory party just see Boris as a useful stopgap while the economy works through the current cost of living crisis because they know we may get uh, things may get worse before we see any recovery. So then, what's the plan, Boris? Well, delving into the archives, he saw that the right to buy scheme was a huge vote winner uh, back in the Thatcher years. Let's skip past all the issues that caused uh, when a shortage of low-cost rental properties hit the next generation. This is all about winning votes, right? Well, look, that's not strictly fair because when this scheme was reintroduced yesterday, it did have two significant changes. And firstly was um, that the housing stock will be replaced uh, on a one-for-one basis. Of course, we'll see about that and I'll believe it when I see it. But secondly, People on universal credit will be allowed to use their benefits for their mortgage. This will surely be a big vote winner because previously universal credit could only be used for rent. Um, Those in favour spin this as a new take on a classic. Um, Sir Keir Starmer, meanwhile, said this is a reintroduction of a failed policy which illustrates how the government has run out of ideas. But that's politics for you. Um, In the market, sterling remains within uh, the recent range. We open around 125 against the dollar and around 117.60 against the euro. Now, you know how the US loves a conspiracy uh, conspiracy theory? Um, Well, here's one for you. The theory goes that economists at several New York financial institutions are now politically driven. So... um, These economists are making efforts to bend public opinion by predicting the country will suffer a much deeper, more significant recession than was originally forecast if the Democrats survive the midterm. Now, of course, the beauty of this is that every economist can justify their opinion with data. Opinions and arseholes, right? Everyone has one, and that can be backed up by data. Um, but if this were to help tip the wider opinion to fear a deeper, longer recession, then the alumni, the Masons, or the Rothschilds win. Honestly, I lose track of who's meant to be pulling the strings behind the scenes these days. Um, in fact, wasn't it Goldman Sachs that runs the world? Um, Yeah, I'll dig out that old classic and post it in the comments below. It's one to revisit. Um, Certainly an interesting opinion of that trader. Um, We have inflation data out today, uh, which may fall slightly. So we've already had some calling the top, but the Fed won't be affected by one data release. They are expected to plough on uh, with another 50 basis point rate hike and the planned um, reduction to the balance sheet at their next meeting. Uh, The dollar index remains rather in the doldrums, trading within the recent range. Yesterday we closed at 103.30. Not very exciting, but it was the highest close since May the 19th. Uh, And euro dollar this morning, well that one kicks off around 106.20 on the open today. Right, that's it from me. We got through the week. Have a great weekend and do join me again on Monday. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.